Our project is on rats. General species information. Rats are common pets belonging to the order Rodentia and the family Muridae. There are over 130 species of rats in the genus Rattus, but the most prominent species are the black rat and the brown rat. Rats are intelligent and affectionate, as well as being good pets for children because they are large enough to be handled, non-aggressive, social behavior, and are easily trainable. Basic anatomy. Rats are nocturnal and are usually characterized by their long bodies, small eyes and ears, short fur, and hairless tails. Their tails may make up 85% of their total body length. Females generally have longer tails than the males and is used for balance and thermogulation. Their bodies are covered in hair except on the nose, palms of forelimbs, lips, and soles of the hind limbs. They have special tactile hairs that they use for sensory input. An older rat's coat will turn from white to a yellowish color. Basic anatomy continued. Rats have bulging eyes, eyelids are well developed, and the only visible structures is the cornea. Rats have a lacrimal gland located beside the eyeball called the hardurian gland that produces a secretion that is red in color and is usually released when a rat is stressed or ill. Each limb has five digits with a nail. They also have an open inguinal canals, a divided stomach, a large cecum, a diffused pancreas, and in males an os penis. Unique features. Rats have brown fat which helps with regulating their body temperature. The fat is located throughout the ventral, lateral, and dorsal parts of the neck, but more so found between the scapulae. Brown fat is more often confused with salivary glands or lymph nodes. Rats do not have a gallbladder, and it doesn't have the ability to vomit. They do not have sweat glands, cannot pant, and are poor regulars of core body temperature, except they can dissipate heat through their ears and tails. The tail vessels can vasoconstrictor when preserving heat is necessary, and can vas vasodilate to dissipate heat. Rats have poor vision and cannot detect color. They are also coprophagic, meaning they eat their own feces. Housing requirements. Cages for rats should be large enough to allow them to nest, burrow, and exercise. They should be easy to clean as poor husbandry can cause disease conditions. Cages need to be escape-proof and constructed of material that is not easily chewed. Cages should be made of wire, metal mesh, plexiglass, or plastic. An opening top is suggested. Recommended housing for an adult rat should be at least 24 inches width by 24 inches length by 12 inches in height. Because rats like to climb, a cage that is taller than this re recommended height should be um, ideal and <laughs> should include ramps and ropes. <laughs> Bedding requirements. Bedding that can be used consists of recycled paper products, hardwood chips or shavings, and shredded paper. Pine and cedar bedding should not be used as it can affect liver enzymes. Uh, it should be approximately one and a half, one one fourth inch to one inch in depth and change several times a week. <laughs> Nutrition and feeding. Rats should be fed pellets or blocks due to them providing a uniform diet. Rats should not be fed seed diets as they will pick out the more desirable ones resulting in an unbalanced diet and likely leading to obesity. Fresh fruit and vegetables should be added in small amounts, and adult rats need five to 10 milligrams of pellets per 100 grams of body weight daily. Enrichment. Rats benefit from having objects that enrich their environment that can be manipulated. Objects providing normal activities, including burrowing and gnawing are ideal. They include Wooden blocks, balls, shredded paper, PVC, plastic pipes, nylon bones, nesting material, and housing. Social housing. Handling and restraint. Rats can be picked up by the base of the tail but shouldn't be held that way for more than a few seconds. To carry rats, you can pick them up and place them on the opposite forearm of the handler. This will help support the rat's body weight. Small rats can be restrained in a way of grasping the loose skin over the neck and back, whereas larger rats can be restrained by grasping around the thorax with the handler's thumb or index finger under the mandible. 
You should use protective wear such as leather gloves or wire mesh to avoid injury. Sometimes mechanical and chemical restraint can be used on rats. Preventative health. Currently, there are no required vaccinations for rats. However, an annual veterinary visit would be a good idea to make sure that the rat is in good shape and maintaining good health. Rats usually do not show when they are ill, so it always isn't easy to tell if they are sick um, or in pain. Common signs that show that they may be ill include hunched posture, anorexia, increased aggression and avoidance. Common diseases. Neoplasia is a tumor that we see all too often. Any abnormal growth, swelling, bump or lump on your rat can potentially be a serious issue. Rats have a high metabolism and a relatively short lifespan compared to many other pets. Because of this, diseases can progress quite quickly. Enteritis is the inflammation of your small intestine. In some cases, the inflammation can also involve the stomach and large intestine. This can sometimes be accompanied with diarrhea. It can be caused by a variety of things. There are many different types of enteritis. Respiratory disease. The most common organism causing this disease in rats is the bacteria which can enter the body cells in order to hide from antibiotics. Signs include difficult breathing, sneezing, inflammation of the mucous membrane, and respiratory sounds.